Christian. Hey everybody, who would have thought after all the, uh, you know, the last three runs we got one win. Oof. And it's with Tainted Lazarus. Ooh, regular Eden. Regular Eden, it's a dream come true. Boss Rush Uber Mom, regular Eden. So this is a classic, okay? Um... So this is basically, I mean, I was just going to say something ridiculous. I was going to say it's Uber Mom plus Boss Rush. But I, I say that just to simplify things for myself, uh, for my, my own mental. Interesting. Everything jar. Kind of like a worse Book of Revelations, but still good. And can I be honest with you? Rate of Fire? Like, damage is good. Rate of Fire is kind of sick right now. We can also use this to generate like a Golden Bomb every floor. This seems awesome to me. So we don't need to mess around going to the regular boss rush, pivoting the alt path, and then doing, you know, non-alt path boss rush. We, we got 25 minutes to get to the alt path boss rush. We're going to grab the key pieces. And then we're going to go to Delaware, and then we're going to go to Washington, and we're going to go to the White House, and we're going to go, ah, say, you know, it's a dated, dated reference, if you'll forgive me. The, a reference to the, the halcyon days of the 2004 Democratic nomination primaries. I mean, if you if you remember it, I'm inclined to say that you weren't really there. That was some crazy... I mean, I wasn't there either. I was 16 years old living in, you know, uh, the suburbs of uh, Ontario. Not California either, but Canada. Uh... Well, here's the, here's the deal on this one. I really think Spirit Heart, great, but not necessary. This is in reference to everything, Jar. Uh, Golden Bomb, actually, like, even if the floor is basically over by the time we get to a Golden Bomb, to get both secret rooms, blow up, like, all the pots and stuff, and possibly get some benefits there, it interests me enough. You know, we get a key out of it there, we get a, a regular bomb out of it there. We kind of need a key to begin with. Just to make it, uh, that's a spirit heart. So we gotta basically commit here. <laughs> I hope this is our golden bomb. You know, having everything jar for a whole run is a great learning opportunity. That's a golden heart. It's not quite what I'm, I'm, I still have not found what I'm looking for. I don't think this is that bad. Exploding bombs can drop bomb pickups. Am I crazy? That actually seems like good. I don't know why I thought this was when you shoot a poop, it kills you. <laughs> it's substantially different uh, class of item there. Probably the worst possible uh, gurglings fight here, but but feeling okay. Like especially, you know, I guess the thing about everything jar is what you might lose in basic, you know, efficiency versus something like a book of revelations. You gain in flexibility. Like book of revelations is awesome. Sometimes you don't want orbitals though, and sometimes you're full on spirit hearts. You're like, if this gave me even like a penny, it would be worth more. So, I'm not saying it's better, just that it has its own its own use. And we got golden keys. So essentially, we, we'll take this, go to our curse room real quick. But essentially, if we use this for a golden key, we get one key. That's a snooze and a half. Uh, I will, I would much rather save it and then try for the, oh my god. <laughs> save it and try for the dream payout on the next floor, which I know is low. Or alternatively, we, if, if golden bombs are possible, we might get a golden bomb like within two seconds, right? Like on our next floor, like literally when we complete the first room. We get one right now. Um, we're gonna get a charge. No, we're not gonna get a charge when we do. If we do, we do. Beautiful, okay. So I, I think you do use your golden bomb right away. And I'm, I'm not sure, I mean, we, we do have to go faster. You're waxing your modem trying to make it go faster. But I, I still think there's value here, even if it might seem like we're being a little bit uh, slow. Also, our golden bombs, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually, that our golden bombs can also pay out with bomb payouts themselves. I don't really want the pill, quite frankly. What do you got for me, though? Mm -mm 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 -mm. <clears throat> I think you're gonna give me two keys and two bombs. I'd rather save the money. So we got what left? We got anything that we can blow up for value, sure. And then also uh, a second secret room, which will not be here. Let's put one here and one here. I'm just, this is taking a shot in the dark, but 
second secret room in that case. We would look to... Uh, and, and I don't mind taking a little extra time. We would look to here, possibly. <laughs> what, what can you say, right? Either way, it, it still turned out pretty well, I think. You know, we got bombs, we got keys. I got chills, they're multiplying, and I'm losing all control. What song is this? I think it's Yerawanarawa, Hu Hu Hu, from the musical known as Grease. You know what I find interesting? When you're far enough away from the release of something that's an homage to yesteryear, I, and you might disagree with me on this one, but just hear me out. It kind of becomes part of yesteryear for you and completely changes the interpretation of it. So th this is me, uh, and I think we will take... Eraser once a floor is its actually really interesting. I've come to respect it, but let's start with uh, smelting the blasting cap, which will pay for itself, and then we'll tackle the rest as it comes. And you know what? If you're going to force me to pick up this pill, I will at least pick it up. But it, for me, there's like two things that, that uh, this rings true for, okay? One of them is uh, Grease. When I thought about it for like more than two seconds, it fell apart, okay? But at first, when I was a kid, I didn't think Grease was an homage to the 1950s. I thought Grease came out maybe just after the 1950s. Obviously, that doesn't make any sense. You know, how would John Travolta be like, you know, in his, uh, in his 20s or 30s when that would mean that he was born in, like, literally the 1930s and he would be 80 years old now? Which he's not. I mean, he's, he's getting up there, but not 80. Let, let's just see what we get here first. Let, let's, let's go fight. I don't think we'll take a deal with the devil. I think we'll probably go deals with the angel here. Um, because we can, honestly. We, we, there's no... There is a rush, okay, but there's no... Well, I was gonna say there's no super rush, but that's not true. There's kind of... We, we have a real impetus to go fast. But I still think angel deals can, can do that for us. Let's just take this and, and... Also, by taking angel deals, I feel like we're able to be a lot more comfortable... Um, secret room, maybe? I feel like we're able to be a lot more comfortable. Hey, let's, let's do it, man. I'm not scared. Uh, and th does this mean this bomb would, would open up all the rocks, maybe? It's like a little bit of a tinted rock. Um, anyway, he, he would be too young to be in the 1950s Greece. The end. But the same thing happened to me with Happy Days, you know? I was born in the 80s, so Happy Days was part of, even if it had aired like, you know, 10 years before I was born, is part of yesteryear because I, I was not alive when it came out, right? So as a result of that, I always thought Happy Days was not really like an homage to the 1950s either. I thought it was kind of like... You know, just I thought maybe it took place in the in the 1950s, but it was made in the 1960s or something like that, which I guess would still make it an homage. But so we're gonna do one extra room here. Um, we still have to get to our item room, obviously. That's a super tinted rock. But I wanted, uh, and we're, we're using a lot of bombs here, so a, a golden bomb might not have been so bad. But uh, I want to try to use everything jar in here. You know, with finger, this is actually okay. It may be even substantially better than okay. I still don't think we'll be taking a racer. And we are going a little slow. But I, I reserve the right, you know? If if the run is just... If I'm hemming and hawing and I'm too busy bantering to go to boss rush, that's one thing. If I'm busy taking advantage of like some, some cool mechanics from items that we've like rarely seen before... Psh, lucky us, look at that. We should all be so lucky as to have Isaac runs that look like that, you know? I'll go back for it. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe we got 17 minutes to get through, like, four floors. That's not a lot. <laughs> That's not a lot of time. <laughs> Fair enough. 
But I wonder if that's starting to happen, and I know you're like, you shut your mouth. I, I, I can insult other people for getting old, but I'll never get old myself. Um, I wonder if that's starting to happen to people for a show like that 70s show. You know, if you're... Like, if you're 20 now, I'm sure that's maybe not the case, but if you're, like, 12 years old now, and that 70s show aired, you know, like, almost 10 years before you were born, uh, are you, like, do, do you implicitly understand that it's a parody of the 1970s, or are you like, oh, that's an old show? Like, you might... Again, think is a strong word here in this situation, but you might be under the impression, without thinking about it too much, that that 70s show was actually maybe made at, like, the tail end of the 1970s. No, it was really it, actually the tail end of the 1990s. But I can relate to you if you're thinking that. There is that, that, that classic, like, Reddit, you know, Today I Learned or whatever, maybe, like, r slash blow your mind, that's, like, the... That 70s show is now further away from the present day than it was from the 1970s. If they were gonna, if they were gonna do that 70s show in the year 2021, it would actually be set in like 1995 or something like that. Basic. I mean, you know, this is one of my favorite bit archetypes. Time passes. <laughs> That's the the gist of it. Uh, time passes. So I still, you know, we're probably maybe getting closer to the point where, like, a golden poop is less valuable than starting to stack up some spirit hearts. But keep in mind, we got a, a super ton of value out of the the Everything Jar Max payout last time. We'll, we'll see how things look this time. We did get an angel deal. We got lots of HP. Uh, okay, so, you know, it's an opportunity to learn your lesson. What's the lesson? Every room you complete without getting hit up to a maximum of four gives you a rate of fire increase that then gets purged when you get hit. It's crown of light, but for tears instead of damage. My god, the man, he, he's learned something. External item descriptions is, is changing his life. By the way, my candle has been extinguished, and my heart will go on. And then it's back. It's back, baby. Uh, we should have used our golden bombs in there, but I'll use them right now. Uh, we didn't pick it up. <laughs> there you go, there you go. And what do we do? Well, you look for a second secret rooms. I apologize, you might hear a staggering amount of, like, yard work going on outside. You know what it is. You know what it's like. Either that or somebody's cutting open my front door with a chainsaw. Please be a secret room. Okay, fair enough, you know, I... The lesson there is never try. Eight inch nails, pretty solid. Jeez, I hope so. I'm framing my house with them. It's not a funny joke. Where is a uh, white fire? White fire, please. White fire. We we gotta. I'm not gonna do the whole floor. We do have to do. We actually literally have to do like one room. <laughs> there it is. Okay, that's actually hilarious. This might be what we need to get back to Boss Rush. Okay, baby, here we go. I guess we could do Boss Trap Room, right? If we're in this state? Nope, that's not how that works. Fair enough. I probably could get away with fighting the boss, but I don't feel the need to, honestly. Like, well, that's not really what I mean. What I mean is, I, I don't think... When I say I don't feel like I need to, it's not that I'm so powerful that it would be a stupid idea. It's, it's rather that I think we're powerful enough that taking on that level of risk to get a stat upgrade is probably not the most, uh, you know, conducive thing to our goals. But anyway, so we're moving down. If it, for my money, I mean, the mausoleum is messed up in terms of difficulty. But for my money, like this... I have no idea where the secret room is. I'm just going to be honest with you. This next level, like the, the mines or whatever the heck it's called, is is even worse. At least relative to the the power level that you have when you get here. I, I, I genuinely don't know where the secret room could be. We got to speed up a little, but we also got to look. You got to look. I got to look. Sorry. We don't have to do this. Uh, but I, I'm not sorry. Okay. So we got the first part of the key piece. An XL floor would go a long way. That's all right. Mine's one. Again, if we make boss rush, uh, good. If we don't make boss rush, so be it. 
Man, it's actually like a real bummer when everything jar gets tagged by that that siphon fly, huh? Okay, hold on. We no this it's not worth in my opinion and it, it's tight, but it's not worth, in my opinion, losing our deal with the angel chance for the future. Obviously, this floor, it's just going to be the deal with the devil. And Gimpy can be really useful. I looked at our luck stat and I was like, I'm not that impressed. With our luck stat specifically. Hey, what if we could, you know, hey, like, oh, hey, wait, listen. What if on this floor we go freaking loco, man? Like, what if we start dropping red hearts in here? We got a lot of red hearts available already. I think we could probably get away with playing the Eddie room at least a little bit. I'm willing to do it early too, because you know if you can get those upgrades ASAP, we'll be happy to see them. And an Eddie room also, can I tell you, more fun than boss rush? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You don't hit me, you sussy baka. Go for it, man. You know what happens here. You, you're, you're losing more than you'd expect, but that's okay. 67% chance for increased angel deal chance. You'll for, you'll forgive me if I don't necessarily believe you straight up on that one. Um, just got to play it a little smart here. You know, we're, we're not trying to uh, die, if possible. Got our coins. 33% chance to... Okay, so probably we will teleport to uh, the Devil Room after we take that. Let's use a bomb. I hear you. Rip Boss Rush. Rip Boss Rush. Hey, hey, you see that? Rip Boss Rush. Rip Boss Rush. Rip Boss Rush. You see that? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. They're all saying, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Give me a second here. I'm I'm really like... The, the theme for me of... Really, like, just... <laughs> uh, I don't want IBS, but... Uh, the theme for me of this period of Isaac is really just... Um, learning to appreciate items that, that previously I'd maybe given a little bit of disrespect. And I gotta tell you, like, everything jar... Hey, 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 hey. Everything jar is totally in that camp. I take, I take, I don't care, I take. Leave so it spawns less bombs. It's Uriel. I almost walked over the spikes again. I don't even think like I have to fight you, but if this gives me the other key piece, I will fight you. If we don't fight to the death, he will kill us both. Name that movie? That's right, it's K Cable Guy! We can't do this quite yet. We gotta, I mean, like, we're, we're at the payout, and if we get the spirit hearts, we're, we're loving it, but... <clears throat> we gotta... I mean, it's not like there's not risk in, in doing the extra room here, but... There's, there's probably less risk. There's definitely less risk. Let's just do a little bit more while we're here. I don't think we're gonna make boss rush. This is, and I'm realizing now this is a theme. Uh, so what we should probably do on the randomizer, I'm still figuring it out, like, oh, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm relishing the opportunity right now in Isaac to just chill a little bit. Um, but I'm also, like, I'm cognizant of the fact that we're in, like, a pretty low-stakes Isaac environment right now. We win, yay, we lose, nobody cares, you know, it's like, it, it, nothing seems like it matters that much, which is, uh, you know, it's a pog-reducing aspect. So I'm gearing up, hopefully, and I don't really have anything in the works yet, but my ambition is to do to structure the content in a way that's a little bit more interesting, whether that be, you know, super hard streaks or whatever, or, you know, hey, challenges. Like, every every time we win a challenge, it gets increasingly difficult. Like, the first one is uh, skip uh, an item room or something like that, and the second one is, like, you know, skip a uh, boss room, and then the tenth, if you've won ten runs in a row like that, then it's like, uh... You know, you can only do contact damage, which clearly just w would never work. But this is literally coming just off the top of my head. Uh, thank you. We do have 118 cents. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of money. Uh, I don't know what we're waiting for from everything, Jar. We, we probably wouldn't mind the Spirit Hearts now. At least starting to get them. 
I'm I'm modestly scared of like this boss in the short term. In the long term, I I don't really I I'm not too frightened about our chances. I just don't like this boss. I mean, you you know who it was gonna be. At least we have long range uh, damage. We can stand on the other side of the map and and get things done here. But yeah, may, what I was gonna say is maybe for now, let's just <clears throat> if boss rush shows up, like I'm not gonna tweak the the parameters or anything like that. If boss rush or hush show up. We say, you know, so be it. We'll try. If it doesn't happen, then it's no big deal. Wave three, please. Thank you. This run is insanely great, by the way. And I, I owe a lot of it to just the start. Like, we had really good... Sure. Uh, we had really good base stats. Losing the rate of fire stinks pretty bad. Uh, bro, this boss is just bad. I'm, I'm actually, believe it or not, I'm glad we got hit. I'm also glad I didn't take the Eternal Heart, but I'm glad I took Red Heart damage. That way, we don't have to get a deal with the Devil on this floor that we've already seen and know is bad. I apologize for saying the boss sucks. That, that, was, my, that was my anger speaking. I shouldn't have let the monster take control of the vehicle. It just makes me so freaking upset, man. I actually thought <clears throat> there that we got burned by our own candle, and I was I was mighty upset. That was well played, honestly. At least like the the dodging, not so much, but not getting hit, a little well played. Da dunk. Okay, forty eight percent angel deal chance. What are we looking for? I I think honestly we're either in spirit heart or like maximum yield territory. Let's start with Spirit Heart, because I think that an Angel deal, if we can get it on this floor, or or even a Devil deal, now that we have, like, the key piece, well, no, because then you lose the Angel precedent, but do we care? Probably not, honestly, now that I think about it. Actually, you know what the number one thing is on this floor? Don't forget about... Ooh! ooh. <laughs> Don't forget about your, uh, your knife piece. You gotta get your knife piece. We're also probably gonna play the Eddie Room. I'm just gonna own it. I don't want to lie to you. I, I expect that the Eddy Room is likely in our future. If the Eddy Room is in our future, then we don't need Spirit Hearts. They take three times as long to get as Red Hearts. We can just farm up some Red Hearts and then, you know, maybe save a little time by doing it in bulk instead of, like, piecemeal. So just, just start creating these. Instead of... I, I really thought we could make the dodge. It sucks to have your rate of fire dip by half. Oh, but that doesn't suck. The song goes kind of hard, huh? Shoop the Whoop is, is an amazing item, but the question marks have not steered us wrong so far, and they continue to kind of not steer us wrong. Um, you know what would absolutely slap on this run? What if you got money equals power, man? I didn't even think about that. I'm assuming it still scales. But deep pockets, money equals power, and just a staggering amount of cash? Like, it's my money and I want it now, man. There's there's a temptation. Obviously a temptation to play the Rodden Baby. That's Magic Mush. Told you. Um, I'll, t I'll tell you what. I wish to... Stay frosty. Stay frosty, man. We got the finger. Just pointing it. That's what it does. It points. We're going to fight early here. You're going to hit us. And we're going to take damage. Uh, and we're going to lose our angel deal chance. And that's just the way the dang cro uh, cookie crumbles. Okay? Stay moving. Stay moving. Stay fresh. Stay frosty. We got speed. Magic Mush? One of these days, man, it's gonna be Magic Mush, and this clip will go to my version of the moon, which is like 15,000 views on the subreddit. <laughs> oh! You almost had me there. Good stuff, good stuff. We got the deal. We got a great item. We got Spun. We got Sacred Heart. Okay. All of a sudden, everything's kind of come together here. 
We have 26 damage. That's better. Better, closer, warmer. Secret room. Well, and now I'm feeling great. And can I tell you that my plan was also awesome? There is one problem with it. We're never going to be able to make boss rush. But if you ignore that... <laughs> wow! If you ignore that, then then we're it, well, extremely happy. We shouldn't have taken the demon heart yet, but... Increase the angel deal chance. Three coins. Hey, look at that. Three coins. Thank you so much. <laughs> you really should not have. Mm, you shouldn't have is a different statement. You should not have. Hearts. Half a heart is perfect here. Random angel room item, please. Okay, the soul heart is okay. Troll bombs, we literally just walk away so that, you know, they, they don't hit us. Uh, let's get some more red hearts. Don't be shy. Take some more. Man, it, it's... If this isn't, like... I, I honestly think that trying to do boss rush on these, like, alt path runs has taught me more about what it's like to be a late person than anything else in my life. You know, you started with, like, a reasonable amount of time frame, and then you get the option to just, like, spend some of it. You're not spending all of it. I wouldn't do something that takes an hour right now, because obviously then we wouldn't be able to make boss rush. But something that takes a second to improve my quality of life? Absolutely! It's only a second. It could speed us up in the long term. You never know. And now you you realize the folly. You know, you, you've nickel and dimed yourself into, into it not being possible anymore. Which is fine because I'm having a good time. However, you know, it... it it sneaks up on you. The gaz, the hangman, the devil. Uh, we'll hold the gaz for the future. What the heck is this room? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. Now I'm like, dude, I'm gonna be late. I'm not gonna have time to eat lunch before the stream. It happens every time. Okay, so we got so much money. You really should buy school bag and deck of cards. And then you should use deck of cards, and you should just hold this for now. But that's that's completely okay. I'm going to be honest with you as well. Money is probably valuable for us, but I bet we can donate a lot of it before it becomes, you know, a big deal. Wow. Alternatively, we could donate, like, almost none. But that's okay. Let me through, please. Thank you. Now, I know it's a bit uh, humorous, perhaps. But the, the rest of the run from this point onwards should be pretty quick. And this run, I mean, what do you want me to call this, right? The power of, uh, of Eddie rooms, the power of angel rooms, the power of everything jar, the power of just getting really freaking lucky, which I think is largely what happened here. I don't know what you want me to say. Are we, are we in a good spot to beat Ubermom? I absolutely think we are. Are we in a good spot for me to be able to eat a, a chicken Caesar salad before my stream today? Not so much, unfortunately. But you know what? That's the price you pay. It's not the price I pay for taking a while on this run. Like, it's the price I pay for uh, not sleeping too well last night. I just, I, I had, and it happens to me, and you never know the direction of causality here, right? Once every uh, couple of weeks, I just think to myself, hmm, it would suck if I couldn't get to sleep tonight. And it's like as soon as the intrusive thought enters my brain, it just happens. And I think acknowledging the intrusive thought has made it even more intrusive. It's not like it happens often, but now as soon as it happens, I'm like, oh, now that I've thought about it, it's definitely not gonna, like, I'm definitely not gonna get to sleep. Uh, it's not a big deal. Like, I'm, I'm feeling good regardless. I still slept, like, you know, not super well, but it could be worse. Uh, R key? Whoa, 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 okay. See you later. I know if you blow it up, I think it gives you, like, just a stupid amount of damage on that room or something. And I know you're, like, play Rotten Baby. Look, you're giving me a choice on a run where we got 26 damage between, like, maybe playing Rotten Baby for 10 minutes or, like, having lunch. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna choose the the lunch for now. Forgive me, forgive me. Okay, Mausoleum XL. Thank you, thank you. 
Okay, uh, screw you. Remember when I said thank you? I take it back. Now, I'm gonna hit you with, like, perhaps the most obvious sentence of all time. You know what would really hit the spot on this run? Holy Mantle. Why Holy Mantle? Well... The main reason... Is because... Whatever. Uh, the main reason is because it would allow us to much more easily preserve the candle, which I think is an item worth preserving, honestly. The secondary reason is because it would be uh, very lol-worthy. I would say, ha 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 ha, can you believe it? What? Like, I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm stupid, though. And that's part of the problem here. Hey, 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 easy there. Lovers, question mark? Lovers, question mark. Bone hearts? Purge an item? 50% more drops from poops. Oh, it's it's magic skin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Magic skin, yeah. Magic skin must? Okay, get ready. Just use it, man. Rune bag. Well worth a broken heart, in my opinion. I can live with that. Okay. We got two item rooms. We got a, hopefully a good shop remaining. I mean, we did just fight Greed, so Greed shouldn't be in the shop. Then we got two floors after that. Just, just tailor your run and tailor your expectations accordingly. I'm trying to think about, like, how do we use everything jar as best... I mean, I just, honestly, just having the uh, deck of cards rules from the perspective of... Getting a decent card, like even the devil, for example, um, before the the Uber mom fight. But everything jar. I'm like, surely I'm I'm just doing it. Surely we could do like a little better than everything jar, or maybe there's a way that we like maximize the everything jar benefit for us. I don't know what that would look like though. I will take a nice tears upgrade. I will take a BFF. A dull razor, I'm like, I don't think we have anything on item tracker that, in my opinion, makes a dull razor actually do anything for us. And well, that's very lucky, our other item room is right there. Golden razor, on the other hand, I think I actually don't mind dumping everything jar for golden razor. And then this is, for every five cents that we have, it's going to give us, I mean, we'll, we'll test it on, on Mausoleum Mom, because she's kind of annoying to begin with. But we're going to get, like, a pretty substantial damage bonus every time we press the button. And we can press the button 100 trillion times because of deep pockets and, and honestly, like, everything jar petrified poop, which created a staggering amount of money for us. Just use the hero font. Why not? So this seems like a, a potential, like, clown car of a finish. I mean, we could even, assuming we never got any money ever again, we could also just give ourselves a little damage bonus for 26 straight rooms. And obviously you wouldn't expect to never get another, you know, payout, <laughs> from financially speaking especially. Um, and the longer we wait, the closer that takes us to, like, you know, just being able to get to the end of the game. But I really feel like most of that effort is best applied on annoying fights. So we probably don't need, you know, 20 damage ups f for the Ubermom fight specifically, but I think you could do worse than that. Uh, and... Oh, this is Soul of Azazel, actually, which... Probably means we don't even have to use it for this mom, uh, this mausoleum mom fight. Wow, that was just astute on my part there for once. There's our deal, with, or there's our uh, second secret room. Just run it, man. You, you got it. There's your boss. We're going to have two boss fights in a row, and we ain't sweating it in the slightest. Like, look at this. I'll actually, I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead. Maybe I'll leave those, but... 
Start uh, with Soul of Azazel. All right. Um, <laughs> that went pretty well. I would like the item, even if we're close to the cap. I want the item. Okay, maybe we're not at the cap. Justice? That's five, uh, up to five golden chests. Well, be careful what you wish for. There's four. And there's a golden key at the end of it. Kind of funny. Kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. So we get one damage up every time we press the space bar. Ah, oh, that hurt. But either way, I mean, are you seeing the, the damage potential we got here? I think now we found our theme for this run. Wow, we got an angel deal. Doesn't really matter what you take. Let's just get raw damage. I'll take a nun's habit, which... I don't know. Seems fine. Uh, well, our theme for this run now is, like, obvious, right? Help, help me... Um, what is the theme for this run? Go to the Uber Mom fight, mash the space bar as much as possible, and uh, give, gotta give the people what they want. What's that, G? Gotta break them off something. Heck yeah. And it's gotta be bumping. City of Compton. Where we go? Soul of Eve? That's amazing. <laughs> Strength. Enemies in room take double damage. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we gotta make enemies in the room take double damage. I'm sorry to the soul of Eve, which is also great, but this is this is a run where its talents, you know, don't shine. Something like the 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 strength card, double damage, and then mash the space bar as much as possible. That, that is the good stuff, right? Are you seeing this, too? That's so good. Okay, regular strength, I sleep. You're still alive, huh? Who knew? Who knew? Honestly, I'm, I'm in, like, rushdown territory just because I, I got the recipe for, like, the funniest uber mom kill that's ever happened. You know what's funny is that this... I'm, like, snoozing this fight. Oh, 28 damage, 5.33 rate of fire. I sleep. Boss that always hits me, not even come close to hitting me. I snooze. We'll take it. We could use a better trinket. That's like one of the only... Nah, 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 nah. That's one of the only areas of like potential arbitrage for us. But this, man. Okay. Second secret room roughly located in this general direction. I am, I am prepared. We have identified... If this were a daily challenge, we've identified our seam. If you weren't around for those days, don't sweat it, you know? It's just, it's a thread you can pull on to get a disproportionate amount of power or score on a daily, but really right here, the only thing we're at risk of dying to is our own boredom. I mean, a soul of Lilith is, is worth taking. It's also like the most lucky pennies I've ever gotten in a single run, I think. Regular strength, I think I've, I've established at this point. Regular strength equals I sleep. That's not a way out. Really, really. We're probably going the wrong way then. We're in dead end city. But I have great news. I'm, I've been looking at the scaling. I've been looking at the time here. I think we will absolutely make it in time for lunch. Will I be able to empty my bladder? Only time will tell. But lunch... Lunch is on the horizon. I haven't seen this enemy in a long time. And I also haven't seen this enemy in a long time. Uh, okay, another dead end. Try as you might, my morale will not flag. No, thank you. D double golden penny? That's like... I, I, you have a choice there. You can either pick up your double golden penny, or you could get a, a hobby. I was going to say a life, but that it's judgmental. I didn't mean for that to be judgmental. And you know, just th this is the best like possible situation for uh, Eden. But it just reminds you of those, those Halcyon days. There goes our rate of fire, but those Halcyon days, man, of Eden streaks, you know, getting 75 amazing runs in a row and then one impossible one. Those were the days. Okay, so we come in here, and we're ready. We're, I don't really want to hit you until I do this. 
Still going, still going. Okay, 58 damage. Then the strength card. That, that sucked. Then the devil. What is. Oh, it's a Bible. Don't kill me instantly. I gotta be honest. This is not as fast as I thought it would be. <laughs> it's not bad. And you're like permanently slowed or something, but uh, it's, it's, it's not as fast as I thought it would be, unfortunately. Well, you know, there goes the thumbnail. But hey, 58 damage and the boss takes double damage from you. That seems solid. Solid dodging. Thank you, Dry Baby. If anybody asks, I'm taking damage to farm uh, extra plays on the on the deck of cards. I wouldn't I wouldn't besmirch my reputation by taking damage on this fight at this point. I'm just doing it to farm up. I mean, like, if we could if we could get uh, seven two of diamonds, like, who knows how high our damage could get. Then we'd really be doing it. Well, it was still a very easy fight. Beautiful. Great, great run. We made it in time. No boss rush, but we made it in time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, though, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Skirt.